It's going to be a nice and bright start to the week. Now this morning, some areas are down near freezing even slightly below it. So layers is the name of the game today because by the afternoon, these temperatures are going to be about 30 to 40 degrees warmer. Right now, 30 degrees out of the Air Force Academy. We're sitting just above the freezing mark at Woodland Park at 33, Cascade at 39, Downtown Springs and the airport both checking in at 36. For Monument, upper 30s this morning, Lyman at Chile 27, Alamosa at 28, Sawatch and Salada both in the upper 30s. Maybe you're extending your weekend into Monday, taking a day off work to relax and enjoy the great outdoors. Fishing might be your favorite thing to do. We'll be in the mid 60s at noon with sunshine and light winds, and then we'll see those warm afternoon temperatures as we're back to the 70s today for the first time in about five days here in the Pikes Peak region. Warm up begins today, but it really picks up some momentum on Tuesday. That's ahead of our next approaching cold front. That'll bring in some changes as we head towards the middle of the week. So that front arrives right around Tuesday night, early Wednesday morning in the state. It's going to be a gusty front, so there's no sign of rain or snow with it, but it will cool temperatures down by around 10 to 15 degrees. And speaking of rain or snow, that's something we haven't seen a whole lot of this month here, at least east of the mountains. In fact, in the springs, only seeing three one hundredths of an inch so far. We're just past the midway point of October. And for Pueblo, just seeing about a trace. Now, typically October, not one of our wetter months on average, as both areas only average about three quarters of an inch in total precipitation over the next five days. You can see it right there on that graphic, not expecting any rain or snow, not just here in southern Colorado, but across the entire Centennial State. All right, highest today will only warm into the mid 60s to upper 60s for Monument to, uh, to Woodland Park. We'll be in the 70s this afternoon in Colorado Springs and Pueblo, 73 for Canyon City, 68 for our friends in Alamosa and Sawatch. And as we look at that super seven day forecast, just not a whole lot of excitement, my friends, almost putting it on cruise control for the middle to end of October with no sign of rain or snow, not just through the week, but into the upcoming weekend. On Wednesday, that cold front will bring in some briefly gusty winds, especially in the morning. So we could see some gust up around 20, even 25 miles per hour. I think the strongest gusts with this front are going to be well east of us. So some of those eastern counties on Wednesday could be gusting as strong as 30 to 40. The wind weekends Thursday to Friday with a beautiful Beautiful, exceptionally stunning start to the upcoming weekend for Pueblo. I've got 70s today, 80s on Tuesday, then we're briefly cooler Wednesday before 80s return Thursday to Friday. Canyon City, not just are we not seeing any rain or snow, we're really not seeing much in the way of wind. It'll be a bit breezy to gusty Tuesday to Wednesday, and that is going to be about it throughout the next seven days for Woodland Park. Also a dry looking stretch of weather through the upcoming weekend with a mix of 60s and 70s for highs, overnight lows down to the 30s.